Fehling's test is a biochemical test commonly employed to detect the presence of reducing sugars with free aldehyde or ketone functional groups, specifically alpha hydroxy ketones. Reducing sugars include almost all monosaccharides such as galactose, glucose, glyceraldehyde, ribose, xylose, etc., and some disaccharides like lactose and maltose. Fehling's reagent was developed by German chemist. Hermann von Fehling in 1849 and contains a mixture of copper sulfate, sodium potassium tartrate, and sodium hydroxide in distilled water, which forms a basic aqueous solution of bis tartrato cuprate complex. This complex is quite unstable and readily decomposes. Therefore, Fehling's reagent comes in two separate solutions Fehling A, which is a solution of copper sulfate and failing B, which contains a mixture of sodium hydroxide and sodium potassium tartrate. The two solutions are mixed in equal amounts just before a test is performed. Sodium hydroxide provides the alkaline conditions which are required for the redox reaction to occur between the reagent and the reducing sugar contained in the test sample. Sodium potassium tartrate acts as chelating agent and complexes with the cupric ions of copper sulfate so that they do not deteriorate to cuprous ions during storage. To prepare Fehling's reagent, you will need the following. 7 grams of copper sulfate pentahydrate, 35 grams of potassium sodium tartrate, 12 grams of sodium hydroxide, distilled water, concentrated sulfuric acid, 2 volumetric flasks or measuring cylinders of 100 ml capacities, 2 small funnels, a dropper or pipette, two suitable containers for storing the reagents, three watch glasses, spatulas. To prepare failing reagent A, weigh seven grams of copper sulfate pentahydrate using a analytical weighing scale. Transfer the salt into a beaker and rinse the spatula using a small amount of distilled water. Now add about 40 ml of distilled water into the beaker and stir the contents. Add about 2 to 3 drops of concentrated sulfuric acid and continue stirring until the copper sulfate has dissolved completely. Transfer the solution into a volumetric flask. Rinse the funnel, the beaker and the stirring rod using small amounts of distilled water. Make sure that the final volume after the rinsing process does not cross 100 ml. Now make up the final volume in the flask to 100 ml with distilled water using a dropper or pipette. Stopper the flask and mix the contents well by inverting the flask a few times. Transfer the solution into a container with a tight fitting cap and label it as failing solution A. Keep the container aside and proceed with the preparation of failing's reagent B. To prepare reagent B, weigh 35 grams of potassium sodium tartrate and 12 grams of sodium hydroxide in separate watch glasses using an analytical balance. Transfer the two salts into a beaker and rinse the spatula using a small amount of distilled water. Now add about 40 to 50 ml of distilled water into the beaker and stir the contents until the two salts dissolve completely. Now transfer the contents of the beaker into a 100 ml volumetric flask or a graduated cylinder. Rinse the stirring rod the funnel and the beaker using small amounts of distilled water while making sure that the final volume after rinsing does not exceed 100 ml. Now make up the final volume of the flask to 100 ml with distilled water using a dropper or a pipette. Mix the contents well by inverting the flask several times. Transfer the resulting solution into a container with a tight fitting cap and label it as failing solution B. Failing's reagents A and B are now ready to use. To watch my video on how to perform a failing's test, click on the link in the screen or the link in the description below. Thanks for watching.